Today we're going to go through some finger picking exercises for developing a Chet Atkins and Merle Travis style picking. I get a lot of people that want to know how to do this and um, what I did is I created a bunch of exercises on these papers and a couple tunes that I wrote in this style to help you. So I'm going to go through all of these exercises now and I want you to repeat each exercise. Um, I'll have a close up on the guitar so you can see both hands going on at the same time. And I'm just using basic chords for the right hand exercises because it's not really about the left hand right now. You want to develop the right hand, the alternate bass pattern with uh, incorporating the lead into it and a little bit of rhythm and harmony in the middle of that. So we'll try to do that right now. Okay, here we go with the finger picking patterns we've all been wanting. Okay, number one. Very simple, alternate bass. Okay, number two. Number three. Okay, and if I combine number one, two, and three, you get. All kinds of little patterns you can do together. Okay, so number four. chords on these two, so I'll show you in the next example here. I just went to an F, major 7. Go to any chord you want. Okay. Number 6. Just a little tiny excerpt here. Try it again. Okay. So it's A minor. He does that a lot. Chet does that a lot. Uh, a hammer on as a pickup note before the next measure starts. Picking the bass note. Okay, that's just hammering on. Okay, this isn't in there, but I'll show it to you. It's real easy. D into E. is a great one to learn. You definitely want to get that one. Okay, uh, let's see. Number... We are on number 12. A little walk-up. Okay, so... Okay. Alright, number 13. that 
I did a bus stop. Okay. Bus stop. different things you could uh, hit there, but let me try that again. You'll have to get my arrangement of bust up. I do the whole song, but this is just an excerpt. Okay. All right, we're moving on to 14. Okay, we change keys. We're now in the key of A. So we just got a simple, once again, an alternate bass in A. Okay, so that starts it. And then this is three measures long, this little exercise. This number 15, exercise 15, is a small excerpt from uh, Zena, Zena, Zena. Okay. I change it up on the E7 chord just to give you another exercise, but here we go again. song to learn. Um, you got the bass going like this. Well, the melody is on top. Okay, that was number 15, and we're winding down on the exercises, and we're approaching number 16 which is just a little uh, riff that uh, you can use. Okay, so just follow the notation there. Okay, number 17. Practice it, and you will get it. Okay, that was number 17. Okay, this song is called Teeth and Taxes, and this will help you with your technique. Actually, on the sheet music, it's uh, and then it goes. And okay, that little riff at the end is.
that's teeth and taxes. Okay, this song is called Happy As Can Be, and you'll keep the right hand pattern pretty much the same, except I will be changing uh, into diminished and augmented chords, you'll see on the notation there. Here we go. Okay, once you get all these patterns down, you can mix them up, and the important thing is that you're going to be playing the melody, whatever the melody is, okay? So if I'm doing, like, let's say a Beatles song like something, okay, I'm going to keep that melody. Something, something in the way she moves, that me like C chord. pick out the melody and then keep the alternate bass going in your chords as much as you can and add a little notes from the chord uh, harmony and rhythm okay like on bus stop um, playing the melody, wherever the melody is, and then just playing the chords underneath, adding the bass, alternating as much as I can. And really, that's the style in a nutshell. So if you take all these patterns and learn them and apply them to other chords, okay, and you learn a few Chet Atkins tunes like Windy and Warm and Me and Merle and a few other tunes, whatever you like, Listen to a lot of Chet Atkins. And if you learn those tunes or Jerry Reed tunes, you will get better, okay? It takes time, but you can do it. Okay? Have fun. <laughs> 